Okay. <laughs> I would like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which we meet, the Boon Wurrung and Wurundjeri Woiwurrung peoples of the Kulin Nation. We pay our respects to elders past and present and know that sovereignty has never been ceded. I am grateful that Nam has been a place for us to gather from all over the world and a place that I will hold in my heart as one of inspiration. I would like to welcome to the closing ceremony His Excellency, former President of South Africa, Kaglema Motlanthi, and Her Excellency, Mrs. Gugu Motlanthi. Honorable Gabrielle Williams, Minister for Mental Health, Minister for Ambulance Services, and Minister for Treaty and First Peoples. Paul Hunt, Chief Human Rights Commissioner of Aotearoa, New Zealand. Judy Chang, the Executive Director of the International Network of People Who Use Drugs, and all of our delegates. So it feels quite incredible to have shared this time together um, over the past few days. At HRI, we are truly honored that so many people have taken up our offer of a space to gather. It is a very, very special thing to see so many old friends in this unique space, which can only be created when this many people come together with intent. Feels a little bit like I'm stating the obvious but it has been truly extraordinary. I don't like to state the obvious, I find it a little bit awkward. I think it's best to assume that uh, people you are talking to are a few steps ahead of you. Um, when I was a teenager, my mother sat me down. And she said, Naomi, you are such a bright child, top of your class in third grade. <laughs> but it's best to assume those days are behind us. So, I try not to state the obvious. This week I haven't felt so awkward. The conference directors gave me a few jobs to do, so that was useful. But I think it's more about the fact we are in a space where I hope it is clear that everybody can bring their full self. Young, old, straight, queer, trans, we, cre we have created a space that is not ableist, that is not misogynist, and that is actively anti-racist. Strength and solidarity. <laughs> Strength and solidarity only works if it's solidarity that's truly inclusive. For me, one of the most special aspects of the conference is that Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people, Maori people, and Indigenous people from all over the world accepted the offer that we extended to gather here, to speak and to generously share their expertise. I feel like their voices have shaped this conference into something way more than we could possibly have imagined. So please th join me in thanking the Indigenous people of this conference. I also just want to briefly mention that by virtue of our incredible awards ceremony and how much we're all moved on Sunday, we spoke of the crisis in Ukraine, but obviously there's not just one part of the world that's in crisis at any given point in time. We are privileged to have a number of delegates from Myanmar here this week um, who have been under persecution of the military coup. The human rights defenders from the Philippines have had a fight on their hand for the past decade. <laughs> Lists are exclusive, but the LGBT population of Uganda that's under threat, the fact that Sudan has been under Khartoum and cities all over the country of Sudan have been bombed all week, and the fact that Lebanon is in this ongoing crisis where they just can't get out. So please, all of our delegates, we see you and we stand with you.